Sean Hinchin, I'm an assistant professor in the Eshelman School of Pharmacy in the Division of Molecular Pharmaceutics. We work on glioblastoma, or GBM. It's the most common primary brain tumor, but also one of the deadliest forms of cancer. The current standards of care actually were developed about 30 years ago in the mid-80s, but it's just really not effective. It, it only gives patients about a year to survive. We really need some new, innovative, and, and outside-the-box technologies to come at this thing because standard therapies are not gonna work for this. So pharmacoengineering is a blending of the engineering sciences with life sciences as they relate to drugs and drug delivery systems. So you can get the right amount of drug at the right place for the right time. The promise of pharmacoengineering is more effective therapy and much more efficient treatment of disease states. The ultimate dream would be that we can actually cure brain cancer. So one of the things that our lab is trying to pioneer is the ability to actually take your skin and then morph your skin directly into your brain stem cells. And so then we can load those with drugs and then when we implant those back into you, they'll crawl and find your tumor and start to kill it. We, we realized we needed a scaffold. We needed an engineering technology to let us do that. We got together and I said, well, we've created in my lab specific scaffolds that we know control a localized delivery and a timing of the chemotherapeutic. Between Elizabeth's ability to create just about anything out of her technology and our flexibility with these stem cells, it's fun to just brainstorm with new applications, new ideas, and new directions. The engineers need the biologists to understand the problems, and the biologists need the engineers to help figure out the solutions. It really is a match made in heaven. We are really trying to cultivate a culture of innovation and basically have the resources to test and realize those new ideas. The ROI funding gives us that extra boost to try some higher risk, high reward things. Whether it's through licensing to other companies or entrepreneurial endeavors and startups, the IP component is really critical and very important to our research. The pharmaceutical industry is always looking for better ways to deliver the right drug at the right dose in the right patient at the right time, and a lot of this pharmacoengineering is tapered to do exactly that. Having an industry partner or creating our own company could really help position ourselves as the, the nation's leader in this particular area. We expect to be a beacon for people who are looking for pharmacoengineers. So either you're looking to hire our graduates or you're looking to establish a company here. You'll know you'll have a community of people who are focused on this effort. We can put hand over heart and say, okay, this stuff originated in North Carolina. We own this. This should be a priority area for funding in our state. At the end of the day, the innovation is exciting, but if we could actually start to treat patients and, and change the standard of care and solve some of these medical needs, uh, that, that's incredibly rewarding. Mm -hmm.